Hey all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world of Wayne. It's the weekend, which means it's time for Welcome to the Cave. We've got two caves today, and the first one is from Martin Futter. Uh, looking at your cave, Martin, uh, things that popped out straight away from me, I'm a big Red Dwarf fan, so seeing your star bug, God knows where you got hold of that, because that's quite a big thing. Uh, I was really impressed by that. Also, I've never actually seen card-made models like your alien dropship uh, and uh, the the like Land Rover Jeep sort of thing that you've done as well. Uh, they're really impressive, and uh, I don't know if there's any links or anything you can put into the comments to where you get things like that from, but uh, I had no idea that they could look like that. But uh, anyway, this is your cave. Hello, Wayne and fellow World of Wainers. Uh... Welcome to my cave, or as you'll see, it's my back bedroom where I make my models. Uh, to start off with, a rather dusty Space 1999 Eagle from Product Enterprise, I think it was, made then. Uh, that sits underneath the television and has a removable beak, so you can see little astronauts. And the partner puts up with that underneath the television as I put up with a rather rancid family heirloom painting in the lounge, so tit for tat there. Next to that, my last finished project, which was a card dropship from Aliens, made just out of cardstock, uh, printed from a plan on the internet, and you get the dropship. It's a made-up design, it's not from the films, but uh, yeah, looks really nice. Right, moving on. Right, main bedroom. Uh, starting off, Stormtrooper alarm clock, get you up. Rise and shine, nice and early. And a couple of little shelves full of goodies and knickknacks. Uh, Alien, people will know. My Starbug from years ago, which I think still works. Just about. Batteries are ancient, but it still seems to work. A uh, little Japanese pop vinyl toy. A couple of Godzillas my brother brought me back from Japan. A uh, little Danger Mouse. My Batmobile from when I was a child. Um, slightly broken at the back but it's still near enough in one piece and uh, top shelf uh, little Tomb Raider a couple of fairies from my childhood little pop rubber cop some bits and pieces a six scale Tomcat pilot big fan of the F-14 little rubber cop little Playmobil guy from when I was a kid and a large Terminator statue which I don't know if he still works or not I'll give him a go no, his batteries are gone we'll have to get him a new power unit alright moving on Right, then we head into the back bedroom where I do most of my model work. Uh, some Blu-rays, DVDs, uh, Bruce Willis ticket there from when uh, he was filming The Fifth Element in London. Did a concert, brilliant. 40th anniversary Stormtrooper, Rogue One, and cars at the top there. Hopefully they're in shot. Uh, lots of model kits in the stash yet to be made. Plenty more at my mother's. Need to get them. Too many models, not enough time. Uh, my big Darth Vader looking after my headphones. A uh, resin kit from Weta Workshop in New Zealand from the movie Chappie. Uh, beautiful resin kit. Uh, I dare it make it yet. And 
Heading over the mess. A couple of recent purchases Black Series, Chopper, and uh, Jaina Sulu. And uh, some Bandai Stormtroopers. Wonderful model kits. Easy to build. Proud of my Phasma there. Next shelf up. Um, Knock off Chinese Stormtrooper. Idealized Stormtrooper y type thing. Rogue One Trooper. Car Freshener Dalek. A couple more Bandai's. SR71. I believe you're a fan, Mr. Wayne. Y Wing. My favourite Star Wars ship. And Stormtrooper Japanese Samurai style. Uh, bookcases full of books, of course. And my Hudson, I mean, still in the box. Uh, my old matchbox. Uh, I can't remember what that was called now. I think it was Commander's something. Raider Commander, I think. Uh, lighting kit ready for a model. And cupboard ready for some shelving. And my workbench, which is a converted MS unit. Uh, this is Hudson, named after. Hudson from Aliens. A few other bits and pieces. As you can see, Stormtrooper theme continues. It's Ray up there. Various Stormtroopers. My big Boba Fett I had when I was a kid. A few ladies. My Stormtrooper helmet that I won in a competition. Thank you, RS Prop Masters. A couple of metal Vulcan bombers. Klingon Bird of Prey. Little uh, Games Workshop. And bits and pieces kept in here. Uh, plastic trays from B&M that you have makeup in. Get some of bits and pieces in. An old, uh, I think it was a CD or DVD rack, and paints look back there, and workbench. Far too many knives to mention, and a cardboard, a paper craft, moon bus from 2001. Anyway, uh, oh, there's a couple of other card models I've made. Tomcat and the Land Rover, which is a brilliant German kit. Right, I think that's just about everything covered. Uh, if there's anything that you've seen and uh, want further details on, you'll have to uh, let me know in the comments. Um, a couple of things missed was a little pastiche a friend of mine did, uh, Colin Harwood. Uh, check him out at colinharwoodartwork.com. Me putting up a fight against the aliens. Uh, a couple of patches there. Um, lamp was missed out which is kind of a lava lamp with X-Wings and TIE Fighters in which is quite cool and uh, that's about it I was going to tidy up but whose workroom is ever clean anyway uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, from Hudson and I say goodbye Hudson anyway Wayne thanks for the opportunity and uh, look forward to seeing more of the same from everyone else out there. Cheers now. Bye.
嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟，嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟。Hasta la vista, Wayne. And the second cave is from Sebastian over at Devmar Models. And at the start of this video, I have put a link to Sebastian's YouTube channel. He is actually a YouTuber from Germany. So, uh, guten Tag, Sebastian. Wie geht es dir? But you're going to love his cave again. The ships. Your ships. He's won plenty of awards by the look of it. Certificates and trophies. But some of the ships that you've got there are absolutely amazing. Uh, I do like the cross-section of the Victory. Obviously, building the Victory myself, just seeing the cross-section of some of these ships are amazing as well. Uh, but I'm sure there's going to be things in this video that are going to appeal to everybody. So uh, without further ado, let's have a look at Sebastian's cave. Welcome to the cave. My name is Sebastian from Devma Models from Germany. So... <laughs> Welcome to my little hobby room. I will show you some uh, of my models I finished. Also, I'm still working on. So let's start on this wall. You can see the Millennium Falcon from uh, the Augustini model space. Uh, as well the uh, R2-D2. Um, as next on the top some ships that's the sovereign of the seas from uh, model space the agustini as next the uh, prince eugen from hachette from kobe a brick uh, of the turpits brick model you can see some uh, certificates i won on contests in switzerland austria and so on here is a um, working on a ceramic brick kit, so it's really cool to build it. <laughs> As next is a, a, a section of the Santissima Trinidad, completely weathered. You can see on these decks. That's my next contest model for this and the next year for Swiss and Austria as well. So in this Kallax you can see a model I built with my girlfriend. It's also a section model with uh, the birth of uh, Jesus. The Porsche 911 RS in 128 from model space Diagostini. On the top, this will be, uh, if it's finished, uh, the uh, Russian Yacht Standard. In the right side, the Titanic. Here are some several awards I won, the gold medal, best of show, some bronze medals, and so on. Han Solo, <laughs> don't miss out. If I turn left, we can see a little chaos, that's my walking bench, and also my um, yeah, gaming. <laughs> <laughs> and watching you, World of Wayne, <laughs> and some other people I like. So here's my camera, and yes, I'm a YouTuber as well. And here's the uh, the table I filming my clips. So if you uh, go uh, on the left on my room, you see one of the models you. Uh, see some minutes ago the certificates and some of the uh, awards I won. That's the HMS Terror of the Sir Franklin Expedition. In front of the uh, Soleil Royal, model space Diagostini. Behind this model is a brick set from the Bismarck of the Polish label Kobe. You can see the uh, metal Bismarck from Hachette, the multifunction model. On the top, some 
different trucks in 1 to 24 of Revel and Italeri I built. This is one of my favorite builds. <laughs> These all uh, alone standing houses from uh, Lego. And I modified all houses with uh, LEDs. So if you uh, look inside, everything is uh, detailed with light. Here's the X-Wing. In Germany we are on stage 87, I mean. No, I said it wrong. 80, 83 we are in Germany. So, uh, a little bit down. This is the DeLorean on stage 127. This is the... Uh, Willy's MB Jeep from Hachette. This will be the Polish Fiat Polski and one to eight. Here we have the Trabant six six hundred and one S from Hachette as well. This will be the Opel Manta A. And here is the delicated model, <laughs> the Ghostbusters Act 1, till stage 22. At least we are in my living room, so you can see a model railway in scale 1 to 87. As next. There's a cross section of the HMS Victory. With this model, I also win a gold medal. Here's the uh, Gorch Fock 2 from the German Marine. I won some awards too. And at least, really, the least. <laughs> Here's my lovely collections of uh, little Trabants. Two models of Kobe. One model I play in the 90s as a kid. Two from Revel. This is my lovely flag. <laughs> And in German we say Sause Ente, a little Citroën, and yes, this will it be. Das sieht toll aus, uh, danke, dass du das mit Hund getellt hast. I hope my German's okay there. I was trying to say, uh, that looks amazing, thanks for sharing. I hope that's uh, that, that's come out that way. But uh, tomorrow we've got two uh, submissions. We've got one from Mark Gerling and we've got one from Phil Tash uh, from Down Under. You're going to love those caves. Uh, that'll be up tomorrow. But I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.